Let's talk power. Do you like power? Let's talk a little bit about running our electric for a big old house like we are at here today. And so I'm gonna show you the best way that you can run your power so we can power everything on this house from one short extension cord and not having to do a bunch of jumpers from here to there. We will have to do a few little jumpers, but I'm gonna show you the things that we need to do to run power for you to have a simple thing. Now, I want you to remember when we're running power, it is important so that way we don't shock ourselves. Um, I had a homeowner come and he did his own lights and he's like, Jason, I need help. I can't figure this out because he was having an electrical problem with one of the, the males was bad. And, but the problem was all his males were on the wrong way. So number one, remember that the female always has the power. We should never have an open male that we unplug and it is hot. It will shock you. It can burn your house down. It can do lots of bad things. So we never want a male that is hot male. We don't like hot males. Whenever we unplug something, all the lights on this male should die, right? Because that means it's a dead male then. We like dead males. We don't like hot males. Let's go here and look at our electric running for this house of this big, nice monster house and how easy we're gonna do this. First thing is, is our outlet is to this side of the door. It's over here. And so we're gonna make it, we're gonna run it up this gutter right here and we're gonna power. So we'll have power to feed this line and all this line that goes here. And then we're gonna have another, our one extension cord is gonna go up another one and we're gonna put an inline female there. And I'll show you how to put inline female coming up here shortly. And that's gonna feed all the front of the house. And then we will run that extension cord on up to hit this other gutter here and then up that gutter and all the top of the house. So one power line will feed this whole house. And this is important so that way when we go do troubleshooting, you know, DJ was talking about he was gonna run a cord here over here, but that's gonna use way more cord and makes it way more complicated. If we keep it clean, keep it simple, we can feed this whole house with one power line that goes up this gutter, hits this bottom gutter line, hits this top gutter line, and then it's gonna go on up and it's gonna hit that top gutter line and we'll feed everything with one extension cord. And that is the goal. Make it look clean, make it look simple. And that's what we are shooting for when we are trying to do this with our lights. This one here, we're gonna come around the front. We're gonna do this here and then we'll take another jumper or we'll take it and we will actually do this one top piece here, which I'll do that in another video. But I wanted to show you how you can do this by keeping it simple and keeping it easy and not killing ourselves at the end of the day. very first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo our reel here and I got enough to get to my plug and we're going to take our nifty little cutters here again these are very sharp they will cut you they will hurt you we're going to take the wire and we're going to cut them we're using precision type cutters it gives us a better cut it doesn't leave wires hanging now if you want to you can sit there and cut the one a little bit shorter than the other one and that's fine too you can just sit there and cut it and be done with this and that works well too. You don't have to, I actually that was a bad cut. Sometimes I just cut it on an angle like so. It's a clean cut and we're good to go. We're gonna use a male. The male, when this is unplugged, that means it's dead and that's what we want. We don't want hot power to this if this is unplugged. So right now we are unplugged. So again, how you make the thing, you just stick it in there, slide it over, push it down and slide the cap on. Sometimes when it's cold, it's hard to slide this cap on. It's a good thing to take your cutters here and just slide it on. Be careful when we're doing this because sometimes you will take your cutters here and you will cut your hand and it hurts. Once we get that, we're gonna run it where we want the wire to go at. 
and then I'll come around here to the other side here. Again, this is something, I know it's simple, but I wanted to just show you how to break it down and make it happen. Now, whenever we're plugging something in, make sure we say, hey, going live on power. So if anybody else is working, they know that, hey, the power is going to be on. And then we're just gonna plug it in to our little handy dandy timer here plugged in we have power it is used good to use a gfci here this doesn't have a gfci plug it's probably somewhere else if we take a chance and pop in that plug that could be an issue so we're going to run this cord we will make it look better i'll have to put my ladder down there so i can get to it but we're going to run this cord up here and we're going to run it behind that gutter we can run it behind this gutter here so it comes behind there that way we can't see the cord so i got my lights and so again anytime our power is coming from this our lights are off we get a male right if this where the lights were on you get the female i know i'm hitting on this hard because a lot of people do this wrong and i don't want you to get shot one of my guys when i had my business doing a million dollars a year he would decide to take his teeth and go ah, and, and slide them on there well i had another guy on the ground and he was the ground guy and he decided to put a male on and he put it right here like so and when he did it it shocked him right across the lips and left the mark and it actually knocked him down so if he would have been up on this roof and it would have knocked him down it would have killed him and so i don't want you to die so this is important of why we want to make sure that we are doing this here i'm gonna put my first light on here and then what i'm going to do is is we're actually going to do an inline female so we're going to take a female and you got the little piece there I don't know if the sun is killing me too much, but we're gonna pop that piece out right there. Just pop it out. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this here, and we're gonna pull this line here, and I'm gonna just slide this on right there, like so. So we wanna make sure that we put the cap on from the factory side, not the side we broke off. We're gonna slide it up there. A little bit hard, cause it's cold. It's only in the, high 50s a day and we're going to slide it all the way up on there put that down in there and we're going to plug it in and voila now we have power you can see the power of my lights on and this way when we're installing with the lights on we can see if there's a bulb out and if there's a bulb out we don't have to go oh crap there's a bulb out way over there i gotta run all the way over there and to come all the way back so this is why we like the power hot these lights are actually going to go on around but i also know that power needs to come up here so what i will do is put a female inline female here and that will power all these lights so my main line comes up feeds all those lights keeps going up feeds all these lights keeps going up it's gonna go up that gutter it's gonna feed all of those lights and so again we want to make sure that we're using females because we know this is going to be hot if this comes unplugged and that's going to be the dead male so this is why we always want the females to have the power again we got all the lights on we're testing we want to count them we know our power you can see i've tucked our cord over here this is how we want to tuck our cord so that way we don't have cord just hanging everywhere um, we can't even see the cord um, we don't want to go into the like swirl around the gutter but i came around the gutter we dropped it down here so that way it doesn't leave a big mess where you can see the cord it looks nice and this is the way that we can power everything and by us using the one cord going up here all the way to that top peak keeps us simple for electric right we can keep our males and females the right way we don't want no double males double males is a bad day hope if you like this video leave me a comment down below of a story that happened to you by getting shocked by having a hot male